you know, this time of the year, there seems to be an abundance of berries and fruits being harvested. And this morning, dietitian and nutritionist Monique Richard is here to share some great recipes featuring all that wonderful fruit. It all seems to be coming in right now. Yes, yes. I love it. I love it. <laughs> As a dietitian, nutritionist, yes. this, is, this is your home run part That's of the year. exactly right. We can stay <laughs> hydrated, have right? delicious, sweet fruit, yes. get lots of nutrients in, and be happy as can be. I, I love it because I, there's nothing better than fresh berries berries and fresh fruit. Yeah, oh. that's right. Oh there man, and it's good for you. It's Tasty. very good for you. You can't, it's win, win, win everybody. Exactly. Yes. Vitamin C, potassium filled mm -hmm. with fiber. You know, fruit and vegetables are mostly 80 to 90 percent water. Right. So when we think about how hot it's been and uh -huh. staying hydrated, yes. why not whip up a smoothie or a popsicle or even just chew on a rind of watermelon, right? <laughs> Put like some watermelon it. down. Put some watermelon on there. Okay, let's talk about what you, we're going to talk about a smoothie first. Yeah, we're going to make a quick smoothie um, and just show you that it's really, really quick. It can be really balanced. It can be a meal or it can be a snack. Right. So we're going to just start with a cup of soy milk or pea protein milk. So it's a non-dairy. Now that's a new one on me. Is it? Pea protein Okay, milk. Yes. so literally made from peas. Peas okay. are rich in protein. Um, and then we're going to do a half of a banana. All right. Just put the other half in the fridge. It's going to be okay. <laughs> and I think a lot of folks, you know, equate smoothies with breakfast, but smoothies right. are good any time of the exactly. day. Yes. Exactly. Especially after sports or mm -hmm. after school Recovering snack. Recovering after sports. Exactly. Yes. I have two tablespoons of flaxseed um, meal, ground flaxseed. That's going to be good for omega-3s. Right. Um, it's going to be good for fiber as well as protein. So, and it whips, it makes it up a little bit thicker. Right. So. Um, and then I have a scoop of beetroot powder. Okay. Don't be scared of that. Don't be scared. <laughs> it's concentrated beets. Yes. You don't hardly taste it. It's good for vasodilation. Okay. That means extending the blood, veins. the veins, veins and the vessels. The good yes. for circulation, mm. good for blood pressure, good for athletes, okay? So a little functional food in there. <laughs> About a cup of strawberries. All right. And the thing about smoothies is, you know, you're using strawberries, but any fruit. I mean, exactly. pretty much you can put anything. Yes, in. berries, cherries, like right. we were talking about yep. this morning, a combination, absolutely. And then you're just going to blend that up. Obviously, you can put ice in there if you want it a little bit colder or right. thicker. You can do some yogurt. And then we're just going to blend it up. And these nature bullets and things of that nature, oh, they really make blenders. it so much easier. So easy. Yeah. I mean, you really don't have an excuse that you don't have time, right. right? And then put it in a fun glass with a garnish. You're treating yourself. And it yes. really feels special. Right. And recycle, you know, a stainless steel straw so that we're not polluting Mother Earth. <laughs> and there you go. And you know, you want to keep in mind, you know, that this is good. Well, it tastes great. Right. Okay? It does taste you great. You want to make sure that you're getting those berries, you're yep. getting that fruit, that you're because you got to have that. And I know a lot of us get in a rut eating sometimes. Correct. Got to make sure to have all that on your plate. Absolutely. Yeah. And this is just a quick way with just a few ingredients that you know you may have to to go to the grocery store and get one or two things, but you're gonna they're gonna last for a while and they're gonna use all of those berries that are fresh. And talking about right now, strawberries are kind of waning out right, right. now, but the blueberries are. Kind Coming yes. on the raspberries are yes. coming on. Blackberries. Oh, blackberries. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. So black black raspberries. If you yes. have those, those are our treat as Hence well. Hence the colors, right? Yes. Oh, we got all the berry colors you going have on. All the berry <laughs> colors going on. Now we're going to come back here in just yes. a little while. What are we going to be doing a little later? We're going to talk about making some hydrating um, popsicles mm -hmm. or ice cubes with watermelon and strawberries, and then um, kind of a twist on making something for your face for so, your skin. Things we're going to take away from this. Get all the berries and fruits that you can. Also, don't be as scared of the of the root, of the beet powder. Don't okay? be scared of beets. Don't be scared <laughs> of beets. Not one of my favorites, but the beet yeah. powder, I've actually I've actually had that in smoothies and yeah. things and it really adds something to it. It, it does. Really does. And yeah. it, you don't taste that bitterness. A, yeah, you don't get yeah. any bitterness. Exactly. You get a little bit of an earthy tone. You do. Yep. Yeah. You do. Uh -huh. And you can always put actual beets if you're if you're a fan of beets, absolutely. I'll just go with the powder. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's okay too. All right, folks, if you want to find out more, go to eatright.org. We'll be back with more daytime coming up in just a few moments.